So we're going to have ladies and we're going to have gentlemen, and it doesn't actually have anything to do with your current gender. Okay, uh, we're going to call this the ladies' side. The ladies, we have Hasia, Rebecca, Andy, Michelle, Connor, Joelle, Anna, and Melissa. You are the ladies. Gentlemen, over on this side, Alex. Alex is out again. No, he's here. He's here. He's here. Oh, no, he's pretty. He's pretty. Uh, okay, so Alex, Amanda, Ruby, Roxana, Julia, Valeria, Solano, Adolfo, and Stephanie on this side. You need to switch so that you're on the right side. The ladies are the ones that stay seated. It's the gentlemen that, oh, yeah. oh my god, you will have to lift your butt up off the chair. Are you a lady? Are you a lady? Yes, ma'am. That ain't no lady, that's Melissa. <laughs> Melissa. Uh, see you, Rebecca, Andy, Michelle, Connor, Joelle, Anna, and Melissa on this side. Alex, Amanda, Ruby, Roxana, Julia, Valeria, Adolfo, Stephanie, this side. <coughs> Excellent. And just for the sake of moving on the guy's side, you might want to leave your backpacks where they are. And I see two, four, six, eight. Okay, but on this side I see three, four, seven. Alex will come here eventually, and it's Valeria that is out. Okay, so we're going to have one open spot at, at every rotation on the men's side. So tomorrow we have a quiz on area and volume. There's going to be a mix of calculator active and calculator inactive. What I know from last year and the year before is that the multiple choice section was horrible. I don't understand why the multiple choice section would be horrible because usually the multiple choice section is better than the free response. I think the issue is that with the free response, I usually give you one question and lot, like you get 15 minutes to do five or six parts, so it's all about the same graph, right? So you get to dig deeply into this graph. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I, think this is, I think that's what the issue is. On the multiple choice side of the house, you get three minutes to do one question, and then you just got to pick up and move and move and move. I think that's what the issue is. So I wanted to simulate the multiple choice experience for you guys today as best as possible. Here's the other thing that I know. I know from looking at the AP exams from the past like two decades, they don't ask a lot of volume questions on the multiple choice. I think for that exact issue, like it's hard to do a good multiple good volume question in a multiple choice setting in two and a half minutes. And they know that you have to solve like 19 and 55 minutes or whatever it is. They always save it for the free response. Are you still with me? Okay. So we're going to focus on the multiple choice right now. So, um, here are the expectations for our dating. If you are on the ladies' side, ladies, can I hear you? Hi. Hi. Ladies, you will stay seated at all times. Gentlemen, can I hear from you? Okay, man. Okay. Adolfo is the only guy on the gentleman's side. We're going to use the word gentleman loosely. Today. The gentleman, you will rotate after each appointment. Now, here's the one change for you guys from the last time we've done this. The first minute is going to be silent. You are not going to get to talk to your date in any way, shape, or form. I want you to get a good start on this problem and see what you can do. After the one minute mark is up, you're going to have another two minutes to work together with your partner. If Rebecca and Amanda are working together, Rebecca gets the question correct, and of course she will. She earns one point. If Amanda gets the question correct, she gets one point. But if they both get the question right, because they're working together, two points. And one last bit of dating advice slash speed dating advice. During your appointment, do not start making eye contact with your next appointment, okay? You are focused only with the person across the table from you. Relationships end badly, and like calculus grades go down when you start cheating on your date. Let's try that again. We ready to start? Yes. Excellent. All right, first problem is problem number four, no calculator. Alright. 
this doesn't mean that like you're supposed to be done with the problem. This is when you get to start working with the person across from you. You've got two minutes. <laughs> Which one's on the top and which one's on the bottom? Okay, we're going to try locking answers in. About 15 seconds left. All right, and five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Congratulations to you and your date. Can something hit that? If you selected F. Okay. Now, why is it F? Uh, this, is, this might be where, where the issue is, right? You have, you have to have a pretty good idea of what these two graphs look like. They're both parabolas, so you can do that. You're going to find the intersection points, so you get some algebra you have to do, and you're going to get zero and three of the solutions. Now, since it's just area, we're just doing top minus bottom. We don't need to solve it. We don't need to get this in x equals form. It's just top minus bottom. And here's my advice for you. If you make a mistake and you do bottom minus top, what's going to happen? You're going to get a negative area at the end. At that point, don't go and rework the problem. Just make the assumption that you switched your top and your bottom and that the area really should be positive we go with that. Fair enough? Okay, it is going to happen. When we're talking about area between two curves, you will never have negative area. You will never have negative volume. If you get a negative for either of those two, probably what happened is you switched your top and your bottom and just go for the positive answer instead. Okay, rotate. Ladies, stay where you are. Men, rotate towards the camera. Which means that Julia is making the long walk down to Anna. <laughs> Make sure you record your answer on the uh, scorecard. Alright, here we go. One minute, problem number two. I'm deliberately doing these out of order so that you don't start working ahead. I have an OCL. I'm coming back to you in a minute.